Hi there. We're going to spend the next couple of minutes talking about how and why to integrate AstroDB, which is built in Apache Cassandra, to Quine. What's Quine, you might ask? Well, it's the world's first streaming graph. Graph data solves an important problem where some data needs more expressive data modeling in order to actually derive insights from it. Graph databases focus on the relationships between data. And graph databases enable this richer data modeling with a somewhat even simpler syntax than relational databases. Quine has its roots in DARPA research. It's really this first in-memory streaming graph that supports real-time event-driven workflows. This enables high volume, low signal, complex event processing use cases like fraud detection, real-time recommendation engines, and master data management, network IT ops, that sort of thing. So, Quine's a streaming graph capable of building these real-time graph insights on a streaming data as it happens, as well as for that data to be streamed out over event processing. The graph data is stored on disk, configured through a persistent store that out of the box supports Apache Cassandra or AstroDB. When using Cassandra and Astro, Quine instances can achieve extremely high throughput, high availability, and replicate data across regions and even multi-region and have failover strategies needed for the sort of production operation that you're looking for in the enterprise. Great, so let's check out now how we can integrate Quine to Astra itself. On Awesome Astra, which is hosted on GitHub, we've got a collection of guides to integrate AstroDB with third-party technologies. This one's pretty straightforward. Um, this is designed for a Quine version 121. I do believe there are later versions of Quine as well, uh, but that's what this one was written for with Java 11. Um, so just by doing a quick uh, Java command here, we can ver verify that, yep, we are in fact running Java 11. You can go download that from, from Oracle or elsewhere um, if you need it, uh, that's a free download. Uh, creating an Astro account, database, and token. Let's walk you through that right now. It's very simple. Uh, you can sign in with e your email, uh, GitHub, or Google. Uh, I sign in with Google, so that just takes a couple clicks. Uh, and that brings me to the 80 gigabyte free monthly plan, uh, which, you know, and, and no credit card required here. You will not exceed the, the free plan limits um, in doing any of this work, so not to worry. Uh, and then you can just click right here to create a database, which is very simple. Uh, and it shields you from all the low level infrastructure decisions. So, you know, you're not sitting here picking like i7s or, you know, what instance type, what virtual hardware you want to throw at something. You just create your database name and your key space name. Um, the tutorial does sort of expect this name, but you can, you know, change it to, to be whatever you want. Now, uh, I'm going to deploy to, to Google's um, Oregon data center here and click create database. Uh, and then Astra handles all the low-level infrastructure details for you, um, and in just a you know a couple minutes, uh, goes ahead and creates the the database for you. Now I'm going to copy um, this off um, to a separate file here, um, so that I have my token, um, and uh, that's a uh, that's an important one. You also want to download this because it's the only time your your token is presented to you. I'm going to invalidate these at the end of the demo, of course, um, so that they're you know, no longer used for this database uh, as they are specific to this database. Uh, so great, yeah, so um, saving those off is important um, because you'll need them in the Quine configuration file. And then uh, as soon as the database is created, uh, we just click go to database here. Awesome, the database is now active. And of course, this token just gives you default permissions. Uh, you can, of course, change those. Um, but uh, we're just to get the demo up and running, uh, you don't need to do much other than to accept the defaults. So we can click go to the database and that'll bring us to our dashboard. Um, and then what you want to do is, uh, let's see, let's say show all databases. There's my Quine database, great. Uh, you can see it's health using the embedded Grafana and Prometheus metrics um, here. And then uh, in the connect tab, um, you can go get the download, uh, the, the Secure Connect bundle, which basically is a zip file and helps your driver connections um, get all the telemetry of sort of, you know, where is your particular cloud instance, you know, and database hosted. Um, so here uh, you can use APIs to connect, but in this case, we're going to just use the Java, Java driver. And I'll say download Secure Connect bundle. That'll drop this uh, Secure Connect bundle zip. Uh, right here, and I'm going to drop that in the same directory that I downloaded my Quine jar file to and replace it. Uh, so that is now right here. Now, um, I also, um, in my Sublime text here, I've got uh, 
um, my quine.conf file. Uh, that's the next step here in the quine guide. Um, and most of these values are, are fairly boilerplate. Um, you'll notice I use uh, the same key space name as the one I created, that's important. Um, there's some consistency settings. Uh, I'm telling it what data center to use. The, the uh, Secure Connect bundle tells it what you know platform and, and uh, cloud provider. Um, and then I'm gonna grab that uh, token that I downloaded and actually cut and pasted and both downloaded. Um, and I can put that right here and overwrite my old one. This is the, the token ID. And then um, that uh, Secure Connect bundle zip, um, I just make sure I've, I've elaborated the path to that, uh, full path to that, um, which I have. And then I can save my Quine conf file and I'm good to go. Um, so now I've basically done all of these steps. Um, you know, downloaded the Secure Connect bundle, I have my token, I've created my database. Uh, so I can kind of breeze through these instructions, you know, these, these show you the step by step on how to do things. Um, you know, uh, we already edited the Quine uh, connect file. Um, and as you saw, there's a couple can Cassandra specific settings in there. You know, <clears throat> um, these are no different uh, than they are with regular open source Cassandra in terms of, um, you know, setting write consistency, read consistency, replication factor, that sort of stuff. Uh, great. And now uh, all you need to do is, is run Quine. Now, as of this writing, um, there's a bug here sometimes that um, the Quine snapshots table doesn't get created. Um, so if you do run into that error, you can simply go to your CQL console here and just say use Quine, which is the name of the uh, workspace um, where your data is. And you can paste this script in to get the um, Quine schema properly created. Um, so you, you may need to do that step before um, running it. Now, uh, once, once you've done that, um, you can basically come here and run the Quine server um, by running a Java minus jar command, passing in that Quine conf file, and uh, yeah, just you know, self-executable uh, self jar here, um, and that will boot up our, our Quine server, uh, which should be running on locally on, on port 8080. And uh, silly me, I just forgot to save my uh, Quine conf, so it, it hadn't uh, gotten the token in there. Uh, so when I reran it, it's great, all is working, and the Quine app server is running. Um, now I can basically uh, hit refresh, and there's my Quine server running. Great. Now uh, this is interesting, um, but you know maybe not as interesting as a database with actually with data in it. So uh, what we might want to do is load up some some data. Um, we can do that very simply by downloading this attempts.json file, which is a, a recipe from Quine uh, for detecting a password spraying attack. Uh, it's just one of the many things that, that they can do. Um, so what we're gonna do is uh, shut down the server really quickly um, uh, just by using a curl command. Uh, and that does a nice graceful shutdown as opposed to just uh, you know control seeing out of it. And then uh, from there, um, what we can do is pass it the um, call the Quine uh, Java minus jar command again, but hand it this password spraying argument, which allows it to import and directly stream in uh, the streaming uh, file here, this attempts.json data. Uh, so there's about um, 5,500 records in here. Um, so what we'll do is a little magical video editing and some hold music and we'll, uh, we'll upload all these records in just a couple minutes to Astra. Fantastic. So now we've got all 5,500 records ingested. And if we go and look at the Quine system dashboard, you can see here that uh, there's definitely activity going on, as is there with your AstroDB database, as you can see here in the Prometheus Grafana dashboards. Um, and um, if we uh, go to the, the Quine Graph Explorer itself, um, you'll see, great, there's, uh, there, there's data loaded up. Um, and you know you can start to start to look into it. Um, so more more to come on this, but uh, sound sounds like uh, everything's up and running, and that brings us to the end of our, our uh, example here. Look forward to getting your feedback and to what you develop with Quine and AstroDB. Please reach out on uh, Discord or uh, on Twitter or any of our other you know Slack communities or anything like that if you would like to uh, get help or give us feedback. Thank you very much.